Hey guys, I am creating a frequently asked questions video so I can answer repeated questions I've gotten. Here we go. I was set to dog sit for three dogs and I met the owner and the dogs but on December 23rd, 2021, which was the first day that I was supposed to dog sit, I opened the front door and two of the three dogs immediately attacked me and targeted my face and I had hundreds of bites all over my body. I was sent directly to a trauma one hospital and I was in a Kona for eight days. I've had 17 surgeries as of July 14th, 2022 and I'm set to have my 18th surgery in December. So because the door was left open, thank goodness, because the alarm system notified the owners that the door was left open, they asked their neighbor to go check on the house to make sure everything was okay. Well, obviously it wasn't and they called 911. So what they're gonna do for my next surgery is do the first debulking for this skin flap and what that means is taking out tissue and fat and all that that does not need to be there so it's a process and there will be multiple debulkings in the future because they have to be very tedious and careful with the blood vessel that has the blood supply for this skin flap. And my next surgery is December 1st, 2022. It's unknown what I need left. Uh, we're kind of taking it day by day, surgery by surgery really. So basically I will need more eyelid surgeries, more lip surgeries, I will need to get cranial implants for prosthetic ears for the magnets to attach to the ears. More nose surgeries, for sure. I will have to get laser hair removal on this and my nose. So yeah, that is the easiest way that I can answer that. It'll make me be more restored and my face can function better. The answer from the beginning is still unknown. Surgeries are less and less often, but I still have many more to go and we do not know the approximate amount because basically after every surgery we know what the next steps are and so it's really difficult to approximate a number. I'm doing okay. Day by day it's a different situation and different emotions but overall within the last year I've progressed mentally pretty much. There are definitely some setbacks at times and every time I go through surgery I feel like I'm kind of resetting my emotions just because the recovery kind of takes the wind out of me.